bridges here. So you think the prep work is better here or here? It's here. So bad prep work here. So what does that mean if you pull tape off here? You might pull paint off here because the prep work is harder to do. Well, think about that. So I don't want to put no Gorilla Tape on there to protect it. I want to get some low tack tape. Sometimes I just take a microfiber towel and get it wet. I'm going to go ahead and get it wet and I'll do this technique. But this is some stuff you can get at Lowe's. I think it's for house painters. But I would take and tape this off. And that would keep me from getting splatter dots in there because it's low tack. When I go to pull it off, I don't pull the dude's paint off. So if you wonder why I know this is important, I've pulled paint off before. Uh, sorry, I pulled all the paint off the fresh air grill. It's because it's the first time I've ever been told the car. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so here's another way. If, you, if you're working on a car and you really just don't want to take any chance at all of pulling the tape off, but you want to cover it up, get a microfiber towel wet. Okay, if it was dry, turn that buffer on and hold it up. You turn on. That's creating an air current. So not only could you grab with the, with the air current alone, but grab a dry microfiber towel and blow it. But what about a wet towel? Doesn't it now have some weight? Has some weight to it. Get a wet throat on there. Go ahead, put it on there. You just covered it up and you've got to worry about pulling tape off. Just be careful you don't write your policy terms here. And when I get down and I get ready, I want to do this spot right here. I go ahead and pull it back a little bit, but I don't. Let me see that. Uh, someone have me the compound up there. I, I try to share a lot of techniques. So when I want to um, do intricate work, I put some product here to draw from, and I take my product spread. Now, my product spread looks a lot like my finger. And the cool thing is, is I take it everywhere I go. So I always have my product spreader with me. And I take and I get some product and I spread it where I want above. Now, what am I putting right there? I'm putting two things. What are they? A guideline. A lubrication and abrasives. Lubrication and abrasives. Okay. Compounds have abrasives in them. If you feel ours, a lot of people think this is a this is our most aggressive compound. They think they're gonna feel great. It feels like Jurgen's hand lotion. There's nothing in there. There is something, you can't feel it, okay? So it's not gritty, it's not like sand or rocks in the bottom. And I would take this thing here, and I would just come in here like this. And that's so more about where not to go. Light touch. Boom, made in China. You see how I put some product in, but just a little bit, so now I didn't throw a bunch down inside there. Um, but that's one thing I do, I always put product and draw from it. Mike, you mentioned you can go over all the chrome and everything. Uh, you know, the windshield wipers aren't something you can go down to, obviously, yeah. and buy, but 